With Wowza Streaming Cloud, you can easily add VOD playback to your live stream in just a few steps. For this to work, we first need to add a new live stream. Name it and select the location closest to you. Next, we'll choose an encoder. For simplicity, we'll choose WebRTC and then check Create a VOD Stream for this live stream. Unlike Record This Live Stream, which becomes a stored MP4 video file, the VOD asset is a hosted ABR stream using HLS. Now once we've chosen all the other settings and finished creating the live stream, we can test this feature by starting the live stream. Since I'm using WebRTC as the encoder, I can use the WebRTC publish page to publish my live stream to Wowza Streaming Cloud. For this process, we'll also use the HLS playback URL at the bottom of the overview tab to play the live stream. Using testing tools like the one found at Theo Player Demo Zone for HLS playback, we can paste in the URL, load the stream, and then hit the play button to see it live. The recording of the VOD asset occurs when the live stream is detected. Once we're finished with this test, we can stop the publishing from the encoder, and back in Wowza Streaming Cloud, we'll stop the live stream. Now, under Advanced, we can go to VOD Streams and locate our new VOD stream. Using the playback URL, we'll copy it, return to our test player, and once again, we can then paste that URL in load the stream, and hit play to see the VOD stream. Like any video on demand, we can jump back and forth to any point in the recording. Back in Wowza Streaming Cloud, we can select usage for the VOD asset in order to see the bandwidth as well as the viewer data. Once you're done testing the VOD asset and don't need it anymore, you can just go back to that VOD asset and select Delete VOD Stream. All right. That's it for going live to VOD. For more information on requirements, security settings, and billing, please see our detailed documentation at Wowza.